Hello, Cancers. I am going to look into what your person's thinking, feeling, wanting, whatever the cards want to say. By the way, if your name starts with J and you are a male and you've recently gone through a psychic awakening and you feel like you don't have any friends or anyone to talk to about that, uh, message me because I did channel something for you earlier. It was very specific. But, um, you know, I'll, I won't charge for that. It was just a message that came through for someone specific. So, yeah, go ahead and email me with that if that's you. Okay, let's see what the cards want to say. So the last reading I did for this group of cancers, I was getting that someone feels stupid for not realizing that you love them too. This isn't a bad person. This is just someone that has a lot of insecurities. And they're working through those insecurities finally. And they're coming to these, you know, conclusions, these epiphanies that like you felt the same way about them. You thought you made it obvious. And I think you did make it obvious to like to the average person. But I think this person was so insecure that they just really could not even see what was right in front of them. They thought it was too good to be true. Or they thought that you were just friendly. Like maybe you just flirted with everybody. Like they just, they, they put you on a pedestal and they kind of questioned everything. Um, and I feel like you felt rejected by them and they just felt like you were out of their league. And so there was a lot of miscommunication. And now they're working through these insecurities and they're realizing like, you know, how you felt and like they're realizing like how obvious it was. Maybe one of their friends told them too, like, hey, like that girl or that guy was really into you. Like, what, like what's wrong with you? Why did you not realize it? Like, um, so yeah, that's what's going on now is what I, what I feel. And they've been fantasizing about you sexually. I will always find you. I'll always come back for you. I can't figure out who I am or what I want. So they're still figuring things out. They're, they're, they are figuring it out, but it's just a process. I'm jealous. I'm afraid that you already are or that you will end up dating someone else. So this could be someone that's kind of, this person puts you on a pedestal is basically the energy I get. Like they see you as like this queen or this king, like you're just the entire package. Um, so yeah, last reading I did, I was just getting that they feel really stupid for not recognizing that and where they're at now, I feel like they've come further along. Um, they're, they're fantasizing about you. They're a little bit worried that maybe you've moved on. Maybe you're dating someone else. Maybe it's been a while since you guys have talked, but they're ready to be open, honest, and vulnerable with you. They want to tell you their secrets. They want to tell you how they feel. You hold the key, clear the path for love to enter. So this could be someone like maybe you have their phone number, but they don't have your phone number or like you have a way to contact them or you know their mutual friends, but they don't have a way to contact you or something of that sort. Um, could be some kind of energy like that, but it's like you, for whatever reason, it seems like you hold the key here. Like maybe this is... This can come in now, but for some reason, there's something that you need to do. Like maybe there's a karm. It could be like a karmic lesson or something that you need to clear up. Like maybe you have like an ex that's weighing on your energy and you need to do a cut and clear ritual and free your energy from them so that you can manifest this new love into your life. Maybe it's like for some, I feel like they don't have your contact info. Like maybe you kind of gave up on it because you're like, oh, I don't think this person's interested. But in reality, they were just kind of shy and awkward and they thought you were out of their league, so they didn't take that risk. Um, but you also, also want to ask yourself, like, do you want this? Because, you, you know, the world is your oyster. You can manifest someone else instead if you don't want this. You know, because this person is very sweet. They are very um, caring, very empathetic. But they're... I don't want to say that they're not strong-willed because I think that they're stronger now than they were before. Like, I really do think they're working through those insecurities. But I feel like they're still finding themselves. Like, this isn't someone who has it all figured out yet. This is someone who doesn't really... They don't... They're, they're still figuring out who they are, kind of, is what I'm feeling. Even though they're sweet and they're loving, the insecurities can be an issue. This could be someone that was in an abusive relationship, like a toxic karmic connection, like a third-party situation. And maybe when you guys were around each other, maybe there was like a maybe that was like a third party situation going on, and that and that karmic really was abusive and kind of tore them down. And 
you know, now that they're not with the karmic, maybe they're like thinking more clearly. They're like, oh, wait, this person was interested in me, but the karmic blocked it. The karmic didn't, you know, the karmic maybe told them that like no one else would ever love them or something like that. So now that they're free, it's like they're kind of thinking about things in a different perspective, but it, they're still in a, in a healing phase. Like they haven't really found themselves yet. They're still, um, taking a minute to breathe just to, you know, gather their thoughts, gather, you know, recollect themselves in a way. Um, but they're wanting to come back for you. But like I said, for some of you, it's like you hold the key. Like maybe they, like I said, maybe they don't know how to contact you or like they, um, there's just something where it's like, maybe there's some, like a move that you need to make. And I think intuitively you would kind of know this, like you'd be feeling like you need to do something. Full disclaimer too, I am not responsible for what you do or do not do as a result of my readings. Your life is your own. I'm not taking responsibility for that. So use your own intuition when, if you, if you want to reach out or send a message, like use your own intuition first. For some of you though, there is a green light for that where it's like, maybe you're kind of spying on their social media and you're aware of them, but they're not aware of your social media or you know their friends, but they don't know, like, they don't know where you are or something like that. Some of them are, like, trying to find you, but they don't know where, you, where you're where you at. Like, maybe you used to work somewhere where they would come see you at work and, like, now you're not around or something, like, something of that sort. And this time it's best to wait for me to reach out first. I have a bad habit of taking you for granted. I feel like the cards are trying to... <laughs> Spirits have a very messed up sense of humor sometimes. <laughs> It's kind of, I think, like, use your intuition because some of you do need to message, some of you need to wait. I don't feel like this person took you for granted, though. I'm not getting that sense. I'm getting more that they were, like, I'm getting more of, like, an energy of them being afraid. But it's kind of saying, I think, like, if you've sent the message, just wait. Like, there's nothing else you can do right now. I regret what I said to you. So they regret, like, their um, energy towards you. Like, I feel like they... Um, I don't know if they actually said anything, but maybe just like their general energy was like kind of closed off and guarded. And now that they're, now that they're not in this, you know, toxic karmic situation or whatever it was that was making them so insecure, I feel like they've freed themselves from that. And they're, you know, taking some time out just for themselves. And they're, so they're looking back on things with a different perspective. And I think they're realizing like, maybe they were like cold with you. Like they gave you the cold shoulder. They were kind of guarded, or maybe they said something like they weren't very friendly or they, um, came off the wrong way and they're kind of regretting that now they're like oh wait like they're they're more mindful now where before they were just kind of like in a haze like in like a trance almost I feel like the karmic could have been doing black magic on them as well that might have been putting them in that trance so it was like hard for them to see the love that was around them and like I said this person's very sweet like they're very they're they're a good person they're loving they're caring they're just um you know, you need to ask yourself, do you, they, they are insecure though. They are healing. They haven't really found themselves yet. So you need to kind of decide if, if that's something that you want in your life or not. And if it is, you know, for whatever reason, you hold the key, clear the path for love to enter. If you already send a message, don't send another one. But if you're, if you haven't, and like, you feel like maybe they can't find you, maybe give them that, just give them that opening. It's like, kind of like saying, don't overdo it, but make sure they have that opening at the same time. Um, and if anyone wants a private reading, a paid private reading, just send me an email. Any donations are appreciated and please subscribe also if this resonates. My donation links are below. I'm romantic and emotional. I usually hide it well, but you bring up my softer side. So they do have a softer, sweeter side. They lie to you though and they kind of hid that from you. They, um, I just get the energy of someone like that was... Like, for whatever reason, this person was not very mindful of body language. Like, they were not aware of things, and now they are. And they're looking back on things, and they're like, wow, like, my body language, my energy was way off. I hope I didn't come off the wrong way to this person. Um, so where... It's like a continued story. So where they're at now is... For whatever reason, let me look into that. Like, why do you hold the key? What is there... What's about... What that's, What is that about? I want to cuddle with you. Some of them don't know how to find you. I really feel that. I want to fix this, but I'm not sure where to start. Okay. Yeah, they're not sure if you're, like, uninterested and detached by this point. Some of them are kind of hesitant. Maybe, um, 
it could be also like if you guys are in contact, like maybe you felt rejected by them for so long, even though they weren't trying to reject you, they were just, you know, going through a lot and they were shy and kind of insecure and they felt like you were too good for them. So they're, um, you know, they might've been guarded or whatnot. And maybe, you know, as a result of that, you felt like they were rejecting you. It's like a lot of miscommunication here for this energy group. A lot of miscommunication between you guys. So like maybe they felt like, like maybe you felt like they were rejecting you because of that energy, because they were shy. Maybe you thought they were kind of cocky or kind of too busy for you, or they thought they were too good for you when it was actually the exact opposite. And maybe as a result of that, it's like you felt rejected for so long that maybe now you seem kind of detached and you seem kind of guarded. And maybe it's like confusing them. They're like, wait a minute, like, does this person like me or not like me? So maybe it's like, you know, if you guys are in contact, maybe it's like kind of saying be mindful of your energy as well and your body language because there's just so much miscommunication here that needs to be cleared up. Gossip and rumors played a role in our separation. There might have been some gossip or rumors or, or lies spread about you as well. I can't tell if you're interested and I'm bad at picking up hints. I looked for love in all the wrong places. Yeah, for a few of you, I feel like this is like a karmic situation where I don't feel like they wanted to stay with the karmic, but I feel like they stayed with the karmic because of like a child or because like they're like they're a good person. They're empathetic, but sometimes they're not very strong. Like they don't know how to set boundaries and stand up for themselves. So some of them just kind of stayed in this karmic situation, even though they weren't happy. And they looked for love in all the wrong places because it's like they... The, like someone was dragging them down, whether it was like a family member, a friend, someone was like lying to them, possibly like spreading rumors, gossiping, trying to keep you two apart, lying about you. There's like, like a deceptive kind of inner sneaky kind of energy to this spread too. And it just feels like this person was so insecure that they bought it. They're like, yeah, that makes more sense that this person would be like, for some of them, they might've told them that like you were like into like something sexual, like prostitution for some of you. I don't know if that makes any sense. Like some of them, like someone actually lied and was like, oh yeah, this person just, there's just like a specific message for like one or two of you. But like, so, like for some, like they might've lied and said like, oh, this person's like into some stuff or like this person is um, like on drugs or like, like someone was jealous either because they wanted to get with you or they wanted to get with them. Or they were with them and they, or it could be like your third party situation too. And someone lied here, I feel, to keep you guys apart. And this, like I said, this could also be, take it as it resonates, because this could also be like a family member or friend that wanted to control them. And maybe like they talked to, they talked to someone or maybe like even like a, like a, a mutual friend circle or something. And this person was kind of like jealous or whatever, for whatever reason, or like competitive with them or competitive with you or jealous of you. Um, but there's some, there's some kind of energy here of like jealousy, competitiveness, lies, rumors, uh, competition, like unhealthy competition. And it feels like there was like gossip or rumors that played a role in the separation. And at the time, your person was so insecure that they just bought it. They're like, yeah, that makes sense. Like this, this, you know, love at first sight doesn't exist. This is too good to be true. I'm sure there's something wrong with this person. Or I'm sure they probably don't really like me the way that they, maybe they do just flirt with everybody. You're right. You know, something like that. Like something, some kind of lie here was told. Um, but they're recognizing that now they're like, you know, they're kind of having these like epiphanies and they're, they're wanting to talk to you is what I'm feeling. My feelings for you are stronger than I let on. Yeah. They're, they were trapped in a stagnant, unhappy situation. They were drained and distracted. And now they're in the healing phase is what I'm feeling. And you guys are telepathically communicating. You guys have a deep spiritual bond. I am detached from the karmic. Yeah, I, think, I feel like they already ended things with the karmic. Or they, 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 I think some of them, well, this is I'm planning out a way to finally end things with them. I feel like most of them already ended it, actually, to be honest. Because I feel them healing now. And it feels like... It just feels like the kind of energy you would feel like after a breakup, like when I tune into them, is that that's the kind of energy I feel where it's like they're picking up the pieces, they're having these epiphanies, they're finding themselves, they're kind of almost like confused and lost a little bit, but it's a beautiful process though because they are healing. It means that they, all those things they buried and suppressed are coming out now, like they have a safe space to heal finally, so it's a really beautiful energy. I want, they want to be stronger. They want to be your, your hero, your warrior, your protector, your everything. You bring out that side of them. They're going to reach out. They're just searching for the right words to say. Like I said, some of them also don't know how to contact you. So you need to clear that up. And yeah, they're having these huge epiphanies. 
and they've grown up and they're ready for commitment. And th this is a good person. Like I said, this would not be someone who is toxic. This wouldn't be someone that treated you like crap. This is someone who's just, they, they're just damaged. They just have some stuff to work through, but they are working through it and they are healing. You need to ask yourself though, is this person assertive and strong enough for you though? And if the answer is yes, then manifest this. You hold the key. You're so different than anyone I've ever met. You help them become a better person. Even if just telepathically, even if you were just doing healing rituals for them, you really did help them. And they don't want to be apart from you. They can't handle being apart from you any longer. I want to ask you out. I'm afraid you'll say no, though. That would be awkward. Yeah, I, like I said, I feel miscommunication here because I feel like you felt rejected by them. And so you became guarded and they, they're just like oblivious. Like this person is just stupid. Like this person's really sweet and empathetic and loving, but they're kind of stupid when it comes to body language and communication. Like they, they just don't get it. Like they're just, they don't get it. It's almost like, you know, like those models, like those like gorgeous men or gorgeous women that like everyone's like competitive with them and mean to them. And like, you know, they think they're so stuck up or whatever, but like, they're not stuck up. They're, they're not used to being pursued because no one, it, everyone's too scared to pursue someone that's that attractive. It's almost like the same energy where it's like, this person's like probably really attractive and they don't even know it because they like come off as guarded or because they're so attractive that people are too afraid to um, talk to them or whatever. You know what I mean? And it's like, it's, it's, it's like, it's just weird miscommunication, but it's like they, they're confused now because it's like eventually you felt rejected by them, even though they weren't trying to reject you. They were just, they thought you were out of their league and because like like attractive like really beautiful people don't know that they're beautiful a lot of the time like really physically attractive people because no one says it everyone's too intimidated by how attractive they are to talk to them and I feel like for some of you it's kind of like the, that like this is like kind of that case where it's like and this could be you or them but it's like someone's someone in this connection it's like like they got insecure for you know because people were too afraid to like you know people were like intimidated by them or it's, it's also the karmic I feel like someone like a like a family or friend or karmic partner like dragged them down and made them insecure but like I said right now they're in the healing phase and they're picking up the pieces they're a little I almost feel like they're like shocked like a little like shocked and confused and lost because there's so much that's coming through now their third eye is opening as well and they do want to ask you out but they're afraid that they're, you're going to say no because like I said I think you felt rejected so you kind of started being guarded with them and now there's like this awkwardness they're like they might not even know why you're being guarded. They're that oblivious, but they're, they're, they're getting smarter. Finally, they, you know, now that, now that there was someone that was messing with their head, which is a big cause of their insecurities. But now that they are free of that, they're, they're still going through a healing phase, but they are smartening up. But, um, but you hold the, ooh, sorry, <laughs> you hold the key for a lot of you, you know what to do already. Um, but yeah, anyway, that is your story. Um, if it resonates please send me an email if you'd like a private reading. Uh, donations are appreciated. My donation links are below. Thank you guys for watching and please subscribe too. Bye.